Hey guys, Bad Wabbit here. Um, so today's video is going to be about uh, setting an offset um, in desktop volume in Streamlabs. Um, so the reason for this is all microphones inherently have a latency. Um, uh, you know, your sound goes into the microphone, goes through, gets processed, and then gets back and finally gets sent out to your stream. Well, on the other hand, anything that you're playing on the computer, any music, is going out right away it's already there it doesn't need to be you know go through channels and it goes out much faster than your microphone audio does so what does that mean is that when you're performing along to a track on your computer let's say you know we're going to focus on twitch things um your words to your live audience are going to be behind where they're supposed to be because the desktop audio has already left but your microphone audio has not left yet because uh, it takes time to get processed and if, uh, if you're familiar with Twitch Sings, then you know that you have to adjust the slider to get your words to be on time. But what does that mean for your live performance? You've already performed it live, which means for your audience, they got to listen to it before it was, uh, you know, matched up. And of course, the final product comes out great because you can set the timing. But today we're going to focus on how to set the timing for your chat as well and this is very important if you have not set an offset to your desktop audio then your audio has been wrong let's get into it and another thing i just want to say just to kind of put it visually uh what we're going to do is ask the desktop audio to leave later which is what offset is going to do this is exactly what we're doing so it's, we're going to tell the desktop audio hey i need you to wait you know such and such milliseconds 130 milliseconds 140 milliseconds uh give my you know that gives your microphone a chance to leave with the desktop audio together to your live stream so that's what today's video is about is how to tell desktop audio to wait and then we're going to find out where what our latency of our microphone is and match that uh with our desktop audio so let's do it uh, i just one more time So this is Twitch Sings. Um, it's an online karaoke program where you can sing either uh, by yourself or with other streamers uh, or be sang with with other streamers as well. So first things first on uh, Twitch Sings, uh, you're going to want to go over audio. You're going to want to make sure your, um, your device is correct, your output device, your input device. Um, a default settings. Pretty much all through here. Matter of fact, I'll even. Oh, okay, I forgot I did that. Uh, so we are on default settings. Vocal gate enabled, um, I guess, is default, but I have a noise gate built into my mixer. And we'll go over all that stuff and what it's important and uh, here pretty soon. Uh, video and graphics, of course, you just set up your camera. Uh, but today we're going to focus on audio. So uh, let's go ahead and load up a song. And I'm going to show you uh, an example of um, what we're talking about here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to click sync. It's a test track. And I'm going to do the solo. And we're going to go sync. No active camera, not sure. I mean, just like I said, this is just for the purpose of audio. Okay, you're going to clap along to the beat the best you can. And um, I'm going to fast forward all the way through this so you don't have to watch me clap. But you need to do this, and then I'll meet you at the end of this. And I didn't get any stars. Now, when you hit adjust vocals, Mine is set at 273, but if you didn't have any delay, you'd be behind. All right? Let's go back up to 273. 
which, by the way, is okay. Is very normal. No. And as you see here, I'm just adjusting the slider to find the point where my claps meet okay. the music. So, all right. So you. now, it sounded. Let's pause this, and <clears throat> I'm gonna show you. Even though you've got this setup correct and you're hearing it correct in this video, what I'm gonna show you is how your stream is not doing it right. So, what I mean by that is if you've never set a latency on the desktop audio, if you've never gone to here, and if you've never set a latency right here in here, your live, uh, your live stream will be behind just like you heard in the, um, before I adjusted the vocal timing on Twitch Sings. The vocal timing on Twitch Sings is uh, for the saved VOD for the published duet. Um, but that doesn't account for what before that, which is your live performance on stream. So there was no uh, adjustment of, uh, of uh, milliseconds in an offset, right? So naturally, your live stream is going to be behind the actual words. So we're going to find out what our latency is for our live stream. So um, the way we're going to do that is we're going to record now using Streamlabs. We're going to record using Streamlabs, this button down here. And uh, we are going to do the click test again. Um, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to restart this. And I'm going to hit record. That was a fail. I was already recording a video, and that's why this didn't work. But it works for you. Okay. So now you're going to hear... Remember to hit the record button again to stop the video. Okay, so after you've recorded your video, uh, you're going to want to go to whatever folder they save in, which will be in your settings. Um, I guess it would... If you go to video or uh, ad recordings, uh, advanced, uh, output, <laughs> recording, here you go. All right, so Streamlabs, output, recording, and... Uh, there's my path, uh, so you go to, you set your path, and then you'll go find your video, right? And you go find that video, and you watch the video. Okay, so now you're going to hear. Clap, 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 clap. Now, as you can see, as you can see, my claps are behind, which since I don't have a, since I don't have a millisecond uh, offset, my claps on live stream are actually behind. So uh, everybody who's in my stream is hearing my words behind the music when I sing with somebody. So if I'm, if I'm singing like something fast word with somebody else on Twitch Sings, um, when it's over. If I'm singing something fast word um, with somebody on Twitch Sings, my words are behind there. So live, it doesn't sound so great to your live audience, right? So uh, you want to go in increments, maybe start at 100 and then, you know, record again. Do the same exact process again. Um, I've done mine and I know that 130 works really well for me. So I am going to continue to play that video and then I'm going to re record uh, and then show you the difference, uh, what your live stream could sound like if you set your offset to the correct amount. So, uh, again, you're going to do that process where you record yourself, uh, just record yourself without no, no offset and then listen to the video, um, or watch the video and then make an adjustment. You can even make an adjustment while you're recording, um, and then just call it out call it out like this is 100 
do like a few claps. This is 150, do a few claps. And then, you know, by the end of the thing, maybe you've gotten up to 200 because you can change it live uh, while it's recording. And then you can hear the difference while it's recording. It kind of save you some time. But if you want to just go one by one, that's fine too. Uh, but there needs to be an offset. So I'm going to do 130 because this is what I've uh, found mine requires. And I'm going to re-record and then let's uh, listen to it again. We are recording again with 130 second, uh, 130 millisecond offset. Clap. Okay, so now we're going to open up and listen to our second uh, video. Okay, we are recording again with 130 second, uh, 130 millisecond offset. Clap. Okay, and I see, I see here that I'm actually still a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is re-record again, and a and I'm going to add maybe, maybe another twenty milliseconds. Yeah, I think I'm going to add another twenty milliseconds. So I'm going to go up to one fifty. And now this is 150 milliseconds. All right, then we want to listen to it once again. And now this is 150 milliseconds. That sounds very, very close to me. I like that. I like 150. I think 150 is going to work for me for live streams. And uh, so mine is going to be set at 150. So. Set at 150. I was already ready to go to 170, but 150 seems to work great. And that's how I found what my desktop uh, sync offset needs to be. Um, now, uh, for those of you who don't have uh, compressors and um, noise gates, we can go into another video, depending on how we do with this one. We'll go into another video about uh, filters and things you can use to uh, adjust your gain. There's a video online about ducking already, and that's how I learned how to do it. Uh, so you can look that up. But um, as you see, sometimes some Twitch sing songs don't have a lot of volume and don't match um, other songs that are loud. So I have a filter that I use for gain, and then when I turn it on, the desktop audio becomes much louder in the stream, not in my headphones, in the stream. And, um, you know, because you can only pump it so much in your headphones, but at least you give the stream a little bit more help. But, uh, Maybe we'll do another video about that some other day. So now you've learned uh, how to set your offset and, uh, and why it's important and uh, what difference it actually makes. And it makes a huge difference. Uh, you know, if, if you want the quality of your stream to be, you know, uh, uh, <clears throat> enjoyable, of course, right? You know, you're singing, you're singing. Uh, but, you know, no matter how, how, how great you are, uh, if you're not in time, I mean, it's just not going to sound so good, right? But, uh, of course, the published VODs, the, the save duets, I mean, you already you set your sync there, but you also need to set your sync and, uh, in your live stream as well. So hopefully this video helped. Uh, for those of you who know me, reach out to me in Discord, and I can answer any further questions. Thank you.